Welcome, this is a tutorial done by Jake and Anthony Tech. I'm Anthony and let's get started. Alright, so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download GIMP at the website. Link in the sidebar. You're also going to want to download the template. Uh, I'll show you which one. So what you're going to do is when you're in the sidebar, it'll already take you to this. No voice tutorials.webs.com. Here's the home page. I'll take you right to this. Right when you click on that link, you're going to get this. And then right here is where you're going to download it. You're going to click there. And then you're going to click here to start downloading. Which, since I've already downloaded it, I really don't need to go ahead and download another one. So once you save it to where you want to save it and everything, and you know where it is, uh, you can start. Go to File, Open, and then go to wherever you saved it to. Double click, and it'll open up. And now you're going to have, now let's go over this. This is going to be your toolbox area, I'm going to call it. And it's going to have all your tools that you're going to need to create a masterpiece for your YouTube channel. And over here is your Layers tab, where you're going to have all your layers where you're going to merge them down, merge them together, which we'll get to that. Alright, so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your rectangular select tool. You're going to want to bring it over to the template and highlight the side like I'm doing right now. This is where the color of it is going to be and um, where your text is going to be. So there we go nice and perfect and then what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to your blend tool double click on that over here is where you can change color and everything this this is going to be what it fades into and this is going to be what's at the top which is going to start it so um since this is just a tutorial I'm going to leave it at that at the colors it already is preset to then you're going to want to drag it down from the top to the bottom where you had finished dragging the rectangular select tool and right when you get to the bottom just let go and it's going to it's going to make that bar that you wanted now repeat the same steps to the other side There we go. Now we've done it to both sides, and to get the select the selected uh, black here off, well, just go to select none, and then now you're fresh. You got what you want. All right. Now that we've done that, you probably want to add text, or you want to add uh, some style. To add some style, I'm not really too sure. I'm just doing the basics, uh, the color and the text. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the text. You're going to click the text tool. And what you're going to want to do is after you click that, you're going to want to go to layer, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And there you go. Now what you're going to want to do with your text is you're going to highlight where it will first you click and then it's going to tell you what you want to type in it's going to ask you what you want to type in so I'll say Jake and Anthony Tech close and then you can drag it to wherever you want and now you can change the size of it so just go down here to your text area and you can change font and size so make it uh, acceptable size that you can see and that your viewer can see now we're going to change the font and I personally like a certain type of font cracked Oop.
You can be doing this while I'm doing this too, so it's not boring you to death. There we go, that's the font I wanted. Make it as big as you want, whatever. Move it. Alright, perfect. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to your Layers tab. Over in your Layers tab, you're going to want to right-click on the text that you just made and go down to Merge Down. Click that once and it merges it with your background. Now what you're going to want to do is go to... You're going to want to turn it. So you're going to want to go to Layer, Transform, and turn it the other way so you can add your text over here alright so never mind that you can move that wherever and make a new text box that really won't matter in a little bit try to make it equal whoops try to make it equal with your um, last text so it doesn't look off and you can put whatever you want you don't have to put the same thing Perfect, and now move it up a little. Oops. Now click close and do the same thing with the merge down. There you go. Now you got your background. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to layer. And turn it back the way it was and there you go basically that's what it looks like all right so now we're all done and you probably want to go and save it and that won't show up like I said all right so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to file save as whatever you want to name it I'm gonna call it Jake and Anthony tech new channel template and you just saw me make the new channel template because the other one has a little bit of problems with it. It's offset a little and stuff. So I'm going to use this one as my channel template. So what you're going to want to do is click the save and then you're going to want to click export. Um, this should be fine. The quality. It was fine for me the first time. Alright and there we go. It was saved in my downloads. Now you could just go to YouTube and use that. So let's take a look at it. It was opened in our previewer and that's what it looks like. It looks really good. Alright, thanks for watching. And um, if you have any questions or anything confused you, just leave a comment. Thanks. Talk to you all later. Subscribe, comment, and rate.